वेलकम बैक टू माई व्यूज एंड न्यूज सम न्यूज स्टोरीज फॉर यू फर्स्ट वन इज अबाउट टेगराय रोमिया रिलेशन रोमिया रीजन विल हेल्प रिबिल्ड द टेगराय रीजन अनाउंसड बाय रोमिया रीजनल प्रेजिडेंट वाई आर अदर रीजन नॉट कंट्रीब्यूटिंग टू द रिबिल्डिंग रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन इन टेगराय एंड सेकेंड व्यूअर्स Ethiopian Orthodox Church uh, held uh, a key meeting on Thursday. Before Thursday, almost a week before Thursday, the church announced that it was going to hold a meeting on 30th of March to discuss uh, uh, some decisions made by Tigray Orthodox Church and uh, uh, issue of Oromia. Romia orthodox uh, monks and priests but nothing was said by the church after this meeting was a tagarai discussed at the holy synod meeting or not what is the church doing because uh, almost uh, a week ago we saw very strong statement from the holy synod rejecting tagarai church two recent decisions and thirdly viewers uh, tigray administration has entered shiraro town right on eratia tigray border we have a clip for you firstly viewers uh, Getacho Tigray interim government along with his delegation has returned to makale after concluding a one week long visit uh, in Addis Ababa he was warmly welcomed uh, and then he was invited to Adama where Oromia regional president Oromia MPs warmly welcomed a Tigray delegation professor Kendeya on his return to Makale yesterday thanked Oromia president Shimalis Abdisa uh, and Oromia uh, politicians uh, and he hoped that this engagement will uh, continue by the way uh, a very interesting caption is being written on uh, the pictures of uh, tigray leaders and romia president uh, shimalis abdisa caption is honeymoon in adama this caption is being shown by several amharic news sources so they uh, are implying that uh, tigray and romia are in a new marriage and they uh, uh, had uh, honeymoon in adama let's see how long this honeymoon lasts uh, romia president shimalis abdisa is announcing that uh, the Romia regional government will help rebuild Tigray region he said it is the responsibility of all to help uh, war ravaged Tigray region that Romia will contribute in terms of uh, provisions of technology provisions of uh, uh, agricultural support seed saplings other Uh, things will be supplied to tigray from romia why is that other regions are not uh, coming forward when tigray is in a need of uh, support amhara region uh, no announcement uh, the announcement could be just symbolic but it 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 matters i think for inclusion of tigray people of tigray into ethiopian society into ethiopian government once again regional uh, government should announce aid for tigray no matter how small the contribution it would be uh, a good gesture from regions towards tigray but what we are waiting is the nature the future of tigray amhara relations romia is taking the lead we have seen that uh, romia invited tigray leaders to adama chimalis going to help rebuild tigray region uh, what about other regions uh, and what is going to be the impact of growing tigray romia ties on tigray amhara relations that that will see uh, in 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 near future 
Secondly, we heard the Ethiopian Orthodox Church is mysteriously silent after Thursday's meeting. On Thursday, the Church Holy Synod held a meeting and a week before this meeting, the Church issued a statement rejecting two decisions made by Tegarai Orthodox Church. Two decisions were uh, establishment of Menbere Silama Tegarai Prime Church, a regional orthodox st structure rejected by Ethiopia. Secondly, Tigray Orthodox Church made appointments of uh, uh, Tigray's archbishops to foreign dioceses. Both decisions were rejected by Orthodox Church led by Abu Nematia, saying that the decisions were illegal, and that is why. The church uh, summoned a meeting. Uh, the church asked uh, Tegarai archbishops to attend the meeting on the 30th of March. On Thursday, meeting uh, took place, but no statement from the Orthodox Church. The church only spoke about uh, reconciliation with the uh, Romia region based supplementary faction, which has been dismantled now. The three archbishops have been restored, uh, the ranks restored, reinstated. Uh, appointees as well, 17 appointee uh, bishops returned to their ranks as monks and priests and uh, condemnation has been lifted. But not a word was said by the Orthodox Church on its uh, issue with uh, Tegarai Orthodox Church. So what is happening? Uh, what we have learnt is that uh, Orthodox Church of Ethiopia has contacted Gata Achoreda Tegarai interim president. Orthodox Church wants Tegarai president to play a role in the resolution of this uh, dispute or division between main church and Tegarai Orthodox Church. We know that the Orthodox Church leaders uh, have been accusing main church of being behind genocide of Tigrayans. That churches in Tigray were attacked by security forces. Priests were killed. But back then, Orthodox Church blessed the war. Abu Nematias Tigrayan, the patriarch, uh, uh, is seen favorably in Tigray, but other uh, archbishops like Abune Petros, Abune Abraham are seen as representatives of Amhara region in Tigray. Uh, did Tigray archbishops attend Thursday's meeting? I did not see any pictures of Tigray archbishops attending the meeting in Addis Ababa. Uh, so, the church is now contacting the Tagarai interim government. What will interim government do? Will it listen to the plea of the Orthodox Church? Will it work for unity of church? And what does Ethiopian federal government want? I think Tagarai interim government will do what federal government wants Tagarai to do. If the federal government wants division between Tegarai and main church to continue, Tegarai interim government uh, will not ask uh, its archbishops uh, to go to the main church and uh, uh, join the main church. So, we'll have to wait a little, but what we have able to confirm is that the church has contacted Tigray interim government to play its part in uniting the church. Lastly, we heard Shiraro was the first town in the third round of fighting August, which was taken by Eritrean and Ethiopian militaries in a joint offensive. The two militaries took control of Shiraro and then from Shiraro that they managed to reach Shere and they uh, took control of B-30 highway. Tigray forces uh, could not uh, repel this offensive. It was a game changer type of offensive from Eritrean territory uh, on Tigray. Now, when Eritrean military is withdrawing from Tigray, Tigray administration is returning to the small towns and cities which were under the control of Eritrean forces. Tigray uh, police, Tigray administration entered Shiraro two to three days ago. Pictures, videos are being shared. People can be seen welcoming Tigray uh, 
uh, civilian administration's convoy uh, which entered Shiraro. So Eritreans are out of main town cities of Tagarai. They're only in those areas which are disputed between Tagarai and Eritrea. So Eritrea says that these areas are part of uh, Eritrea in accordance with uh, a ruling given by Ethiopia Eritrea Boundary Commission around two decades ago. But demarcation of border has not happened. That is why disputes continue over Tagarai Eritrea Ethiopia Eritrea border. We have a clip for you from Shiraro, uh, with the clip showing the entry of Tegarai administration, Tegarai police in Shiraro town. Think watch. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 